Good morning. Today is January 20th and I went fishing at Roadrunner Park to catch stock trout. I was successful. I had one on and I actually landed one and released it very gracefully as you'll see in the clips. Um, I only had about an hour to fish so I didn't stay longer. There was a ton of people out there which is good. People you know want to get out and experience catching trout the same as myself. Uh, but before we get into the clips of today's videos I just wanted to discuss a couple things. Uh, the first thing I want to discuss was the new YouTube monetization. There's a lot of videos out, a lot of uproar about it. Um, and my opinion about it is I don't really care. It doesn't affect me none the least. Um, I think it's great for my channel because I know those ads could be annoying and I don't really have a huge following. So taking those ads off my videos will probably benefit you, the watcher. And you'll be able to just watch the video all the way through, have good entertainment, hopefully good entertainment for myself. Um, the new rules are 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 watch hours a year. Um, out of the whole year and a half to almost two years I've been making videos, I have monetized my videos. I think I reached that 10,000 view threshold pretty, pretty quickly. So I've been monetizing them probably for the past, I'd say almost a year. And the amount of money I made is uh, $35. So <laughs> it doesn't affect me none the least. It, it doesn't bother me. I'm fine with the new threshold. Uh, I think it'll be better for you guys. You guys won't have to sit there through boring ads. The next subject that I wanted to discuss was, well, you know, why did I get into YouTube? Um, I started YouTube because I thought when I was watching other fishing videos that they were missing something. They, they weren't really kind of showing how they fish, talking about what they use. So I kind of wanted to make videos and just share my experiences. I don't, at first, you know, I, I consider myself an okay fisherman now, but before I wasn't. And I just kind of wanted to show out this is what I went out, this is what I did, this is how I used it. You guys can either try the same or, or, or something different, but it would just show um, my experiences out on the water. And I think my channel has grown as to, or at least my skills have grown over the past year uh, with fishing, and, I, and you know, I do go out and catch more fish now. Another you know, reason why I, I started doing videos too was there, you know, there is a chance where you can make some money. And I thought, hey, if there was something that I did that could bring in another extra hundred dollars a month in revenue for me, uh, great. So, you know, that's another, it, it, it's a benefit to doing videos. Another reason why I do videos is I, I like filming. I've always liked playing with film. Um, I, some of my older videos I try to put a little bit of comedy in it. I think some of my newer ones I should. Uh, but yeah, I like to kind of put a little funny aspect into things. I, I kind of am a humorous person, so I like to joke around a lot. And so, you know, that's... A, a part of filming that's fun. It's kind of making something funny, laughing at yourself, and then hopefully having people laugh with you. All right, with that being said, there's some also other things that I kind of want to share. Uh, you know, I'd like the viewers to kind of get to know me a little more personally. I like to kind of share my opinions about things. I don't really do that too often. I like, the one thing I think I like about this channel, I think other people like about it, is, you know, I just go out and fish, no BS. I show what I'm using. I kind of give an explanation as to where I'm at. You know, I fish mornings. I fish every weekend. Um, but I'll throw in a little bit here and there, a little bit of things that, you know, you'll get to know me personally. And so I'll, I'll throw in a little bit of tidbit here, but don't, don't get scared. My whole channel is not going to become me vlogging and talking, talking about myself all the time. I just want to share this information with people. So that way, maybe I can inspire you to do some of the same things. Uh, so one of the things that I believe in is that, uh, I like to work out, even though I know it doesn't completely show. I'm actually 36 years old now. And it's a lot harder for me to lose weight. And uh, there's one bad habit that I have, and that's I love fast food. So <laughs> that's been going against me. But I have been working out more frequently. Um, but the point I'm trying to get to is with working out, I feel like you should work out your body, but you should also work out your mind. Um, so I've been reading a couple books, and uh, one of the one of the books that I picked up was a reference, uh, a suggestion from a friend. The other one was a suggestion from a podcast that I listened to. Uh, the Ben Shapiro show. He's this. Uh, he, he's a Republican, and he talks a lot about politics. But I, I'm not going to get into that for everybody. But I just enjoy. I just enjoy listening to him. I enjoy his points of views on things, and uh, so I took his suggestion of a book uh, to heart. And these are the two books that I've been reading. <clears throat> I've been reading Moby Dick. Uh, it's a classic. I think everyone knows about this book. I'm not sure if everyone has read it myself. I haven't read it, so I said, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to read it. And so far, I'm, I'm about halfway through. I'm thoroughly enjoying this book. I think it's really well written. I like the way, the language that they use in it, uh, the vocabulary. I think that's kind of lost 
and the English language now, uh, you know, with texts and tweets and social media, you know, people can't even comprise complete sentences any longer. Uh, so I really enjoy and respect the writing. Another book I've been reading is uh, Behave. It's uh, the biology of humans at our best and worst. Uh, so it's written by a neuroscientist, so it's got a lot of science in it. Uh, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to follow along. It talks a real, uh, it, there's an appendix in here where it kind of gives a one-on-one -on -one course about neurology, and it's really tough to follow. It, but I was able to follow it, but it's just very in-depth. And it's like once you get to one step of understanding a part of the brain, then you move on to the next step. I really enjoyed uh, learning about that, and uh, I really enjoy this book. I'll have to let you know what I think of it when I'm when I finish with both. But uh, so those are two things that are kind of you know personal to me. Uh, I just wanted to kind of share you know some experience with you guys. And anyways, nonetheless, let's get on to the clips. I hope you guys enjoy seeing me catch some trout. And I will fish probably tomorrow Sunday, the twenty first, if not the following weekend. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I fish every weekend and make videos just like this for you guys. Thank you. Okay, they stopped trout. I'm gonna use the gold cast master. I'm starting off with gold because gold worked really well for me last time. But I'm out here, road on a pond, and I'm on this little cove. This is where I always catch them. So let's see. I am super pumped for a day of fun catching trout with lures. First cast catch. Let's count on one. Let's hope for one. Alright. No catch. Sometimes I like to cast in the middle of this cove. Give it about several seconds to sink. And then bob it up. Reel on the slack. And then jig. Reel on the slack. Jig. And then point my rod tip down and reel back in. Oh yeah, that one. Finally, let this one fly, and it came off. And it came off. Hey, that just gives me another catch. <laughs> that was a decent sized one too. All right, so I just had the joy of fighting a trout. I didn't land it, but uh, it was on the blue and silver castmaster. This one is one of the older ones, so it has smaller hooks. I believe that's why I got off. But the limit here is only two, so I'm gonna fight them a little extra. I don't care if they get off. Especially if they start hitting a lure, I'll be catching them. No doubt. I'm not really looking to take any of these home and eat them today. Yep, got another one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fight this one for a little bit. Yes! It's not, it's not a huge one, but it'll do. I'm gonna release him anyways. Hopefully he'll start bleeding all over the place. <laughs> well that was one. That was a funny release. 